guess I got started with banjos initially by discovering old time music, which I didn't know about growing up. It was up in Ithaca that I discovered old time. And then kind of that discovery and just that passion that I got found for the old time music then kind of led me into banjos, I guess you'd say. Yeah, well, no, when I was in here at Virginia Tech, getting my undergraduate degree in biology, I didn't know anything about old time or bluegrass or Galax or like that I was living in the heart of it and didn't just didn't have that interest at that point. So then I moved to Ithaca to get my master's degree and just happened to discover that they had this amazing old time, well, just a great music scene, which then when I started digging down under it, I realized all those musicians that were playing more kind of rock or folky rock had a undercurrent of old time. And then I kind of dug down and discovered old time up there. And then it was like, oh, I was living like right in the middle of it. So then I still had friends here. So then I basically dropped out of biology and moved back here to be closer to the music and learn to play banjo. When I got here, I started asking around any old time musicians I could find. There was an old time jam going in Blacksburg at that point. So I would go to that and just start asking people, okay, who's like the most authentic, you know, best musician around that I could learn from? And everybody said, go see Mac Trainum out in Floyd County. Uh, started going out to Floyd County to work with Mac and get lessons from Mac playing the banjo. So Mac runs a woodworking shop, he was a furniture maker, and also kind of made banjos as a hobby. So I would go out there and help him around his farm for banjo lessons, or maybe help him run his shop. And then that eventually kind of led to the making of the banjos. So I kind of had that cheap banjo I started with and um, pretty quickly realized it wasn't a very good instrument and um, needed a better one. And because Mac had been making some instruments, he agreed to help me make one. So I decided to go full time. I guess it was about 2005 was when I was making the decision. And right about that time I got married. So that's when I married Cindy and she owned land here in Giles County. So she had 12 acres of land. And at that point I had a shop in Blacksburg, but then marrying into some land, <laughs> I decided to move my shop out here. And so that's when we built the shop in 2005. And then in 2006, I made the full time, the switch to full time banjo making. My philosophy and the banjos I make are kind of rooted in tradition, but also definitely a modern banjo, like made for modern players. And take a lot of my inspiration, kind of design inspiration from them. But then I also make them more contemporary. What I would hope they would feel or take away from one of my banjos is, I mean, it sounds goofy, but kind of just the love I put into them. It's just, yeah, there's so much care and attention to detail in there. I hope people see that when they're playing it. Mm -hmm. 